Hi guys, welcome to a new video on the channel. As you've seen in the title, it's a new crossing guide to explain to you guys in which situations you have to use which cross. So let's just hop in straight away. So the first technique we are gonna talk about is the L1 cross. With the L1 cross, the aim is to have a, like a big tall player at the back post. The ball will be on the way for more time, so it allows him to re-angle himself to win that header and either just head it straight at goal or get it to a teammate who's in a better position. So let's get into the first clips. So in this first clip, you can see that we cross it to him at the back post. In this case, we said Cristiano Ronaldo is in a better position. We headed to Cristiano. Unfortunately, I messed it up, but you see how big of a chance this allows us to have. Next clip again, we cross the ball to Ronaldo. He wins that header, pass it backwards, sidewards, and Hansa can finish it. But it's really important to notice that we cross it first into the box, maybe not the back post this time, but it allows us to win that header. He cannot control any other defender because he gets locked onto it. And we immediately like create a big situation for ourselves that if we play it out well, we'll score guaranteed. Third clip, ball out at the right again. You see that we're gonna cross to Cristiano Ronaldo. First time, he misses it. But in this next clip, you can see that, yeah, basically same cross, Cristiano at the back post, easy finish. It's just a really good technique to cross it to the tall guy because this allows him to re-angle himself, get up for the header and yeah, basically win that header every single time. We got one more last example of the L1 cross and it's going to the back post to Cristiano Ronaldo. He adds it back to Hansen, fake shot, goal. Really easy, you gotta implement it to your game. It's all about recognizing matchups. So the next cross is as you already know, we have made a separate video on this because this is a really, really OP cross. It's the German cross. It's basically the one where you send a midfielder or a defender, let him run near the back line and then cross it full power. So let's take a look again. Puteas running, cross by Hakimi, pass it one way, go. Easy. You can even do it first time. You can see that Hemi is running, making a run from midfield. She's receiving the ball, taking a touch. Golasso. Again, now, Puteas running, got the ball with Chucky Lozano, cross, not even going to Puteas, but yeah, it will just arrive there, cause some chaos, and yeah, easy goal. The next cross we've got is just a regular cross. This will just depend on the situation, how much power you give it, but let's take a look at the first example. So, first example, we pass to Lozano, he's getting to that line, cross it, cheeky like chip ball basically, for him to head it in. Very good way of using the normal cross. Here again, we see that a player of us is making a run, we cross it, touch, shoot, goal. This one not going in, but you can see at the back post as Ronaldo is making a run forward. That is the moment you have to give that cross to the back post because the moment someone of your team is making like a tiny move forward, it will always lock onto it, as you see there. If we have a bit more luck with the header, that will be a guaranteed goal. Here again, now it's like a German cross and a normal cross in one. Here we do it again, normal cross to the back post. I messed it up, but you can see like how OP it is. We also got the low cross, which is the double square cross. You press square twice, the first one for the power and the second one just to get it low. Here's an example of it. Hem with the double square cross, Hansa gets it, easy finish. Let's take a look at one more double square cross. Here Hakimi has the ball. Double square, easy finish. And the last cross we are gonna teach you is the L1 R1 cross. This cross is basically when you're completely free and you can follow it straight after. Let's take a look. Our opponent missed times an offside trap. R1 L1 cross it and it arrives still in the air. You can take a touch or either volley it as we're gonna do in the next clip. We've got a lot of space. R1 L1 cross and go. And the last clip on the left with Cristiano Ronaldo. You can see Hansen is making that run there. Cross it, boom, golasso. And that's how you use the L1 R1 cross at the best of his powers. So guys, hopefully it was all clear. We've explained all the crossing techniques in this game. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to drop them below in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, subscribe and leave a like at the video and we'll see you for the next one.